Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, it recounts the tale between Alex Clermont Diaz and Prince Henry will finally be brought to life tonight. After literally months of anticipation leading up to the release of Red, White, and Royal Blue on Prime Video, the romantic comedy is based on the novel of the same name written by Casey Nequiston. It recounts the tale of Henry, a British prince who at first has a great rivalry with Alex, the son of the President of the United States. But with time, their connection of hate transforms into a profound love for one another. You can look forward to some genuinely sweet relationship moments, some hilariously disastrous cake sequences, and a stressful campaign for re-election. If, like us, you have already rushed to the conclusion of Red, White, and Royal Blue, but were a bit perplexed by any specifics, then this is the complete finish of the film, broken down and explained. What is the conclusion of Red, White, and Royal Blue? It would appear as though everything is going to be all right between Alex and Henry after they mend their broken relationship and make a commitment to remain together with that extremely lovely dance in the Vienna Museum. No, not quite like that. Following the disclosure of Alex and Henry's private emails to the media, the two are eager to get in touch with one another but are prevented from doing so by the teams that they are on. Alex is now back in the United States. Miguel is questioned during a televised interview how he managed to read 72 emails and write up an essay within hours of the emails being uploaded, which strongly suggests that Miguel is the one responsible for the leak. Henry returns to Buckingham Palace, where he is reprimanded by his brother Prince Philip and listens to advisors, while Alex makes a public declaration regarding his connection with Henry and shares it with the press. It turns out that Zara and Henry's assistant, Seen, have been sleeping together and so have phones for one other to use in case of an emergency to get in touch with each other. Thankfully, Alex and Henry aren't kept apart for too long because of this development. Alex and Henry are at last able to have a conversation, during which Alex confesses that he will soon be in London. Following a sweet day spent together playing the piano, the two of them, along with B, make their way to Buckingham Palace for a meeting with King James IE. King James admits that he has seen the letters that Henry and Alex have exchanged and is certain that the two are in love. However, the king emphasizes that Henry's first responsibility is to the crown and his people and that he must maintain a conventional royal image. Henry and Alex ask the king why Henry must preserve this image, and the king responds that the British people will not accept a prince who is homosexual. Henry and Alex then question why Henry must uphold this image. B tells the chamber that crowds have also collected in Birmingham, Manchester, Sheffield, Cardiff, Edinburgh, and Liverpool, all in favor of Prince Henry and Alex's relationship. However, a massive gathering forms outside of Buckingham Palace. That, by the way, is undeniable evidence that King James is incorrect in his assertion. Henry's granddad is insulted when Henry tells him that he will not cower in humiliation. King James cautions Henry that if he chooses to go through with this plan, there will be no going back. Henry is urged to give this decision much thought before making a final decision. Henry responds with, I most certainly hope not. And then, he and Alex scroll out into the throng to wave to the people there. One week later, Henry and Alex find themselves in Washington, D.C., where they are awaiting the results of the electoral vote to find out whether or not Alex's mother, Ellen Claremont, will be re-elected president. As Alex begins to feel anxious about the outcome of the election, he and Ellen go away for a time alone together. However, it soon becomes clear that Alex has nothing to worry about because Ellen has won the state of Texas and consequently, the president. After the festivities, Alex turns to Henry and inquires as to if he still possesses his key, which opens the door of Alex's childhood house in Texas. The last scene of the movie depicts the two characters traveling back to Texas and entering Alex's house. How adorable. We did not wish for it to come to an end. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.